I appreciate the opportunity to introduce some uh, constituents and also shine a light on the fact that as a Central Pennsylvania representative, I'm very proud to represent so many of our state employees, both now and those that have retired. And I get to right now be able to talk about one that gave 39 years to our Commonwealth. And I'm very glad to have with us today the honor of recognizing the late Bernard Bertolino, who retired as the Director of Administrative Services for the Pennsylvania Department of Public Welfare, which was called at the time that he worked there. Bert, as he was known to his friends and family, passed away this January 30 at the age of 88. I'm joined today by Bert's lovely wife, and who they were together for 59 years, Mary Ellen, three of Bert's daughters, Suzanne Lawson, Karen Bertolino, Ann Bertolino, son-in-laws, Jim Lawson, and Tom Rupp, and grandchildren, Ryan Lawson, Katie Brillhart, and great-granddaughter, Eleanor Brillhart. Daughter, Barbara Rupp, was unfortunately not able to be with us today. But I take this moment to share with you the issue that we have Bert. Bert was somebody that came into work every day listening to Ann. Ann is in our appropriation staff. She's all knowing about our budget process over there. And he would come into work every single day happy to be at work. And those of us that, that know how our state employees work so hard for our Commonwealth, Bert was that example. And Bert was such an example. His, his, um, his uh, saying was, he wasn't only a beloved husband and father, but he dedicated worker. And he was known to say uh, that Mondays were the best day of the week because you had a whole week of challenge and opportunity ahead of you. We need more employees like that for our Commonwealth and those that are working for them. His 39 years after he served in the Army in the Korean War and a member of the VFW Post uh, 6771, as well as American Legion Post 26, he was a veteran, he was a father, and he was a friend and a husband. He is somebody that is a testament to all of our state employees, and the people recognized his role as they named a building after Mr. Bernalino uh, many years ago. Those of you that might uh, date yourselves long as I have uh, with the state uh, we we'll, might remember the Bertolino building. But the ability for us to tout our state employees, Bert is a fantastic example of that. I'm very proud to have his family here today uh, to be able to give Bert that, that last saying of thank you, friend, and farewell. But he served our Commonwealth well, and thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to include his family and say thank you for his service and to, uh, our condolences for their loss because we truly lost a good one when Bert passed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.